gentlemen. Always first gentlemen. in the food line, aren't you? You ain't far behind me. <laughs> Lenny? Hey, Arthur. That knife's sharp enough, ain't it? Depends. Why? You feel lucky? <sighs> Do you? Oh, before me? At least six generations were born in chains. And for the last three years, I've been running from every lawman and bounty hunter west of the Lanahassee River. So yeah, I feel lucky. I'm the living embodiment of luck. That is one way of seeing things. But I'm also skilled. And in this game, you got to have luck and skill. And stupidity. The outlaw's trinity. Luck, skill, and just a dose of stupidity. Come on. You ain't too old and too slow just yet. After you. As you wish. You know, we should head back up that mountain sometime and make Jenny a proper grave. Some nice. Whew. Oh, you on my turf now, boy. <sighs> ah. I got this. Ah. Oh, hi, Dutch. Keep it loose. Damn it to hell. I don't want you to lose a whole hand. You're up.
Hey there, partner. Uh, do you smoke, hey, sir? Sure, but <laughs> perhaps not as much as you. Oh, <laughs> no, no, don't worry about these. Actually, well, take some. Take a couple of packs. Take a few. Oh, thank you. What are all the cigarettes for? Are you heading on a long journey or something? <laughs> no, 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 nothing like that at all. I'm just interested in the cards. Okay. The cigarette cards. Oh, you got any? Yeah? Well, get them out. Let me take a look. Come on, come on. A little picture card? Yeah, I'll pay you a good price. Okay. Here. Ah, nothing I haven't got. The value is in completing the set. Sometimes I'll smoke up to 200 cigarettes in one day, just so I can keep opening the packs. I wish I could explain to you the pleasure and the pain I get out of collecting these babies. Sure. Well, it sounds, uh... Thrilling? Yeah, it is. Not to mention the vast amounts of life-reaffirming cigarettes I get to smoke. Oh, and the amount of money. <laughs> A veritable fortune, sir. Fortune? Oh, sure, sure. A complete set of any series is worth a fortune. Yeah, look at this. Gunslingers. Over here, circus freaks. Yes, yes, yes. Meow meows of the desert. So rare. I never knew. Sure. How much? Well, it depends on the rarity, sir. Oh, uh, of course. Yeah. But you know, if you ever get a complete set, I can uh, take it off your hands. You'd pay me. A fair price. Now you send them to me right here. Phineas to the bottom. At your service. I gotta run. This is my train. Look me up, okay? Think about this deal. Only a complete set. That's where the value lies. What's the problem? Problem? No, there's no problem. Quite the contrary. Well, there is a problem. For me, but not for you. All right. <laughs> I ain't got time for no, this. Well, no, wait! Give me a minute of your life. I might just change it forever. I'm sure you will have heard of me. Maximo Cristobal Valdespino, the renowned explorer. Can't say I have. There has been much written about me. I once had high tea with the Viceroy of India. I helped liberate South America. I've climbed mountains and swum across seas. I have had many women. I have spent the last three months hunting treasure on the American frontier. Beautiful country reminds me a lot of Almeria. But tomorrow I set sail for the island of Shikoku in the Japanese archipelago in search of the legendary Tokushima Sapphire. Oh. Well, good for you. No, no, hold on. You see this map here? It was made by the Jack Hole Gang. They robbed banks all the way from here to California. Yeah, I know who the Jack Hall Gang are. Oh, them you have heard of, but me? Huh. Well, uh, rumor has it they buried gold somewhere in this area, but were killed before they could retrieve it. They created two maps to ensure it was well hidden. This is the first and should lead you to the second. You just need to follow the landmarks drawn here. Me? Yes. Unfortunately, I am out of time now, but I am prepared to sell it to you for the low price of $10. A trifling investment for a man such as you, given the potential returns. Ah, uh, what the hell? Why not? A very wise investor. I wish you the best of luck.
Any luck? I hope you ain't looking for gold, partner. I ain't seen so much as a fleck round here. <laughs> All right, here we go. Here we go. Come on. Come on, let the wolf see the rabbit. Well, good luck to you. Hmm. Hey, give me some goddamn space here, will you? Just curious is all. No need to get rattled. Let's give it some of the magic touch. Come on. Yeah. <sighs> Something. Mm. Anything. I'll take a cigarette butt at this point. Being nice to you, so be nice to me. Wait a damn second. Look at this. Oh, who's got gold? Who's got gold? Woo hee, I got some gold. <laughs> Look at this, baby. <laughs> Guess you found some after all. Good for you, friend. Yeah, barely size of a pebble. Don't know why I got so excited. <laughs> Wait till Tex sees this. Oh, the look on his face. here I took a little jolt and have managed to get myself hopelessly lost I am staying in strawberry if you could just guide me back can't think of a good reason to say no oh thank you thank you sir shall I ho hop up there on the, on the back with you your legs work don't they <sighs> Well, yes, I suppose. It's just a little demeaning. What are you doing out here, anyway? It clearly ain't your natural habitat. I, no, no, I'm just visiting. I, I, I'm from New York City, actually. You don't say. Oh, yes. There was some talk at the country club about this burgeoning little resort town called Strawberry. 
so I thought it might be quite the trip to see what all the fuss was. Perhaps make a few investments while it was still undervalued. Turns out I was made the fool. Not enjoying it, Dan? It's a town of splinters. If you could call it much of a town at all. I'd hardly stepped off the carriage and I'd taken in the whole place. I suppose some might call it charming. <laughs> Let me tell you, charm is not worth much these days. You show me a timber frame shack and I'll show you Broadway. And meanwhile, you have this mayor, a quite intolerable blowhard. A little bespoke woodwork and he thinks this is a cultural hub? The man's completely deluded. Well, I should give him some credit. He must be quite the salesman. He did get me out here after all. More fool me. Now I'm tromping through the leaves in the muck with some cowboy. Uh, no, no offense. Little taken. Oh, I remember that. We're on the path. Quite the resourceful sort, sir. If for some reason you plan to spend any time in Strawberry, you may want to look into that gabbing mayor. Something is definitely off with him. <laughs> All right. Well, keep that in mind. Maybe stay in town for now, huh? A rock and a hard place. Thanks anyway. New Yorkers. Jesus. Yeah. Hello, sir. I've, uh, I've come from Blackwater. I'm on the trail of a dangerous gang, Como Driscoll. Heard you had some sort of incident. We don't deal with bounty hunters around here, son. I, I was just wondering if I could get a description. Well, they weren't friends. They got in a fight, two men got killed. Now, one of them's an idiot, the other's some kind of dumb mick, so maybe them's your boys. You can look right enough when we hang them. Thank you, sir. Arthur! 
Arthur! Hello, old friend. Had a good time, did you? <laughs> you going to get me out of here? I ain't decided yet. Real funny. Oh, I ain't joking, cowpoke. I heard so much bluster out of your mouth these last six months. And now, I got an opportunity to watch you be silenced. Well, you gotta do something. Why? I always looked up to you, Arthur. Well, that's your first mistake. Listen, there's one little problem. There's only one of me, and there's a whole town full of people wanting to see you swing. You got to do something, Arthur. Maybe that steam donkey over there still works. Yes! Hook that over the bars. See if you can pull them off. What a modern disaster this is gonna be. Just pull that lever. Come on. Something of mine. My guns. 
I showed him. And I'll show the rest of this town. You have really lost it this time. One of you fellas better flood that son of a bitch. Ah! I'll kill you twice. Come here. Come on. The law in this town's a damn joke. Oh, I'm gonna get to you next. is clear. Who was that fella? Skinny? Yeah. We ran together for a while. Did a bank job down south. Didn't end well. I saw how it goddamn ended. He was gonna let me hang. I'm starting to wish I had. And you owe Lenny, too. If he hadn't found us in time... Yes, you will all be thanked profusely. I promise. Yeah, well, you're lucky Dutch has got your back. Some unknown reason. Whoa there. I think we finally lost him. Well, I hope so. I'm giving you a holster. My way of saying thank you. And thank you. There I was, having a dull day only for you. To liven it up by letting me help you shoot up <laughs> half a town. You're a funny fella, Arthur. Real funny. Why you act all sour all the yeah, time? Yeah, well, you ain't funny at all. So why you gotta act like the court jester? All right, listen. I'm sorry, but we're family now. Arthur, you and me. Sons of Dutch makes us brothers. Sometimes brothers make mistakes. I'm heading back to my little camp where I'm back a strawberry. Come see me. Maybe I can make things up to you. You ain't heading back to Dutch? No, I've been a bad boy, Arthur. I ain't seeing Dutch till I can bring him a peace offering. <clears throat> Bye now. Yeah! Mister?
Idiot. There. Easy, girl. There. Easy. Whoa. Leave me on here. <laughs> Come on, man, cut the ropes off. What the hardly hell? touched you. Oh, boy, I sure owe you one. If I'm gonna be hanged, at least let it be for a crime I committed. Damn it. I hear the general store owner in Strawberries got a nice little moonshine operation just running keep beneath this the shop. Between ourselves. Could do you good Is to check it out. Is it because of you? I know. Looks like quite a business. Don't think it's Damn. anything worth it. Howdy. 
clear this ride up for you. Maybe you ought to do some more praying. Hey, careful there. Come on, girl. Hey, girl. Hey, partner. Yeah. Good girl. Damn, he crashed his killing me. Buddy. There's a girl. Go. Today, isn't it? Sure. What a country. I'm working on a project. Photography. Yeah, I guess that bit. <laughs> of course. Wildlife. That's my thing. Or well, that's what I want to be my thing. If I have to take another picture of a grumpy housefrau or pompous middle class burger, I will feed myself to the lions. Stand here. Here? There. Albert Mason. Arthur Morgan. Pleasure. I'm trying to find and capture images of our great predators before our greatest predators kill them all and stick them on some clubhouse wall. Good luck with that. Yes. Not the easiest. But, well, I love a challenge. The trick is to leave a big load of meat and relax and... Pray they don't mistake me for lunch. Oh! Good heavens! My bag! That thing is robbing me! Go, oh, good heavens! Don't worry. That thing is a coyote. Sneaky one, too. Wildlife photography. And Kyle, don't think about coming back. your bag. Oh, good, good. Oh, thank you, thank you, sir. Bag full of meat will tend to bring out the worst in the local population. <laughs> you are a gentleman. The bag also had a lot of my supplies. You've saved me days. I can't thank you enough. I'm 
I'm, uh, thank you. Don't worry about it. I'm, uh, you take care, sir. <laughs> I ain't the one trying to get myself eaten. <laughs> I realize I am a fool. <laughs> Forgive me. And thank you very much once again. Won't take long. Yep. 